council needs to avoid the risk of publishing a libel and therefore there is a proposal from Council of Housley to amend the minutes to include the words alleged and express an opinion. So if we like to have a look at those, so uh, going through then, 1729, 1730, um, where it's the last sentence of the first speaker, Mrs. Annette Hennessy, um, Councillor Tasley would like added in and said that if she hears alleged false information that she would wish to have it corrected is the suggested alteration. I object. What the members feel. I'm not allowed to object. Can anyone? Could I have a show of hands for those people who agree? I'm not surprised. <laughs> and those who disagree? They're all abstaining. Yes, of course. Yes. Can you, can you read to us that last sentence? The whole of the as, last sentence. The last sentence as it would read. Yes. Um, if it is amended as its text of how it would Okay. So the last sentence. Um, in its entirety. She went on to speak about the skate park on the lake ground and said that if she hears alleged false information that she would wish to have it corrected. Mm -hmm. yeah, she uh, would yeah. correct. Yes. Yes, that's not correct. Um, it, uh, I'm totally sympathetic to Councillor Tyler's uh, wish to have a <coughs> statement of alleged but in this case, I can't see that it's really necessary. Um, I mean, <coughs> all she's saying is if she gives false information, she can correct it. But, uh, That's I mean, correct. Th th there's no actual allegation in this sentence. And Councillor Palsy can't change my words, Councillor Cottrell. Uh, <laughs> no, you no, can't change my words. Is trying to ensure that what is in the minutes is a true reflection, but also yeah, yeah. the reason that I read out um, it's advice from the town clerk, the Society of Local Council Clerks, that we need to avoid the risk of publishing a libel. So that is why we are having a discussion about it, certainly not to change the words that you have spoken. But to have a true record in our minutes. Uh, Councillor Norton. <laughs> Simply, um, <coughs> I agree with Councillor Cameron. Who is the person against whom this libel is being made? In this case, I'm very sympathetic. We should not be publishing a libel, but that sentence does not have a person's name in it. Thank you. Which is why I haven't voted for it. Otherwise, I would have. Okay, so should we um, have a vote again? Um, those who are in favour of Councillor Pasley's amendment, would you indicate if you are in favour of Councillor Pasley's amendment? <laughs> would you indicate if you are not in favour of the amendment? <laughs> okay, so that is not amended then. So that remains as it was originally. <coughs> If there, if there are other instances where someone says something bad about someone else, then by all means we can allege. Mm -hmm. well, this sentence is not saying anything bad about anyone. No. Okay. Uh, the next, there are several, I'm afraid. Uh, the next one on 1730 is the ought to amendment that Councillor Pasley proposes. I'll read you the sentence. Mrs. Anne Townsend spoke about Councillor R. Cruz failing to represent her. Councillor Pasley would like that 
amended to Mrs Anne Townsend expressed her opinion that Councillor Arclew's <laughs> mail was a representative. It's fact, it's yes, it is fact. Raise it again tonight, we know that. That's right, uh, Mr. Clark. I don't, I don't see why we're beating about the bush. If David thinks that's libelous, then there's plenty of lawyers in town. Here, here, well said, Councillor okay. Clark. Thank you, Mrs. Henderson. Yes. <clears throat> Okay, moving on to one.